Here again, David Muir and Lindsay Davis. Okay, round two. That we must defend Ukraine from Russia, from Vladimir Putin, to defend their sovereignty. Are we going to talk about Afghanistan at all? Oh. The botch withdrawal, which led to so much of the madness we're seeing around the world, including in that region. You said so just before the break tonight. How exactly would you do that? And I want to ask you a very simple question tonight. Would Russia, I mean, Ukraine this is again a, an this opinion war. that's very widely held and debated. Would Russia have acted the way it did if not for America's so weakness as displayed with that botched withdrawal from oh, Afghanistan? Uh, this, this, that, that, the footage of that plane flying off with the people falling off at the 13th. Billions of dollars worth of arms left behind for terrorists. Well, and of which he clearly says, yes, I had a plan to get out, but we were going to take the gear. If we couldn't take the gear, we'd blow up the gear and we were going to blow up the, the air base, which China's now got. Getting out of Afghanistan isn't the issue. It's the manner in which they did it, which is where the mayhem began. We don't even know if he's a president. And, and just to clarify they here. They threw him out of a campaign. Oh, like he's going to do another fact-check, Democrat Day. <laughs> he's not a president, but we have a president. Mr. President, we literally doesn't had Trump having to fact-check his yeah. fact-check about crime that. rates, and Trump was right because Democrat Dave shut up after that. Yeah, oh, so which tells you... When he gets pushed back, I mean, this is, you know, this is the guy who's, what do they say, mile wide, inch deep. He doesn't know the detail. He's reading the card. He's, he's reading the DNC talking points he's been handed. Um, I actually met with Zelensky a few days before Russia invaded. Oh, well, that worked well. Yeah. That, that worked well. That was a show of strength. <laughs> yeah. So when they send it to fix the border, it breaks. When they send it to start a war, to stop a war, it starts. Understand why the European allies and our NATO allies... Yeah, because they don't want to pay their own way, Kamala. <laughs> yeah, because he makes that. He, he said, makes them pay, pay for share. that protection. The greatest military alliance the world has ever known, which is NATO. And what we which have Which shouldn't done, be bankrupting America. Uh, the rich European nations should be paying their share, which they did under him. He's the first one who said, you want the benefits, contribute. Putin would be sitting in Moscow and he wouldn't have lost 300,000 men and women, but he would have been sitting in Moscow. Quiet, please. He would have been sitting Ooh. in Moscow. Not talking. good. Don't do quiet, please. No, I liked it. No. Oh. No, no. She needs okay. to, No. Maybe I'm it's sorry. my inner lady that doesn't want to be no, told. I'm sorry. Quiet, please. No, I'm sorry. She just ranted for a couple of minutes. He's responding and she's shouting. So, you know, quiet, please is a very polite way of saying. Shut. I always love when she's stronger than me. Just so oh, you understand, they <laughs> sent her to negotiate peace before this war started. Three days later, he went in and he started the war. Yes, she good, just said that. Good. She just said that herself. That's stupid. They said the wrong things. That war should have never started. She was the emissary. They sent her in to negotiate with. And Zelensky she botched and it. Just like and they botched did. the Afghanistan the withdrawal, she botched later. that so badly that, that three days later, by her own account, yeah. oh, but, but, the Ukraine but, was invaded. Oh, no, we're going to fact check that, uh, Mr. Former President. Yeah, uh, yeah. She actually wasn't the. No, no, it, was a, it wasn't three days, it was two and a half days. Yeah, yeah. You're wrong. Yet again, I said it at the beginning of this debate, you're going to hear a bunch of lies coming from this fellow. Wow, what an assist. I know, I know. That, that is hilarious. Oh, come on. I've now met with him over five times. They're like human booster seats. It has been about standing as America always should. He got these countries, the 28 countries at the time, to pay up. He Do you think it's interesting that she is clearly he pissing him off? Do you think that that makes him look bad or it's an example of just her playing unfair? Look... I I'm going to, sounds like I'm going to be on the fence with this, but th there is something to be said for the quintessential fiery Trump. The reason why Trump has been so impactful isn't because he's your diplomatic politician. It's because he's Trump. He says mean things. He says things other politicians wouldn't. But you also think there is something to, to be gained by him just being measured and not allowing her to continuously goad him or not. He needs to attack the moderators. That's what he hasn't done. He needs to do that. He Correct. needs to put on the record that... I've stood here for an hour. I've watched what you've done. You've given her... The, yeah. you, you, know, you didn't correct fact, this. Yeah. You didn't correct that. 
You attempted to correct this. The president at the time invited the Taliban to Camp David, a place of storied significance. Oh, hang on, for listen, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. Oh, no. This, is, this is outrageous what she's doing here. Now, yes, the idea that, oh, she, he invited the Taliban to Camp David. The Taliban was the government before, ended up being the government after. Yes, that means at one point the enemy, but peace talks between the person that you're fighting a war with can happen. That, that's a very low blow from me. I would much rather have the Taliban in Camp David being told, if you kill a single American, we will blow up your house and show them a picture of the house so they know precisely where it is, than leaving the Taliban billions of dollars of weapons weaponry and, yeah. and abandoning your citizens, abandoning your allies, people who uh, uh, provided assistance to America for years. Come on, son. Get in there. I got involved, and Abdul is the head of the Taliban. He Abdul. Is still the head of the Taliban. God bless Abdul. <laughs> no, 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 God, no, no, God bless Abdul. Yeah, yeah. we've all got that one friend. Mine's called Abdul. He happens to run the Taliban. Abdul, Abdul. And for 18 months, we had nobody killed. We did have an agreement to go. That's true. By Mike That's, this is the thing. This is what works. If you want to deal, you know, you can't just have this fairy world where you hope there's no bad people, there's no despots, there's no dictators, there's no extremists, there's no Islamists. Here they exist. They didn't do what they were supposed to do. I, I want to move and on. And these people. Oh, oh, now we want to move on. Now we want to move on. Oh, 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 it's it's to move on. Moment in the history of our country. And by the way, that's why Russia attacked Ukraine. That's because true. they saw how incompetent they saw, she and yes. her They saw the botched Afghanistan withdrawal. Absolutely. Look at this. Look at her. Oh, you're unbelievable. Uh, Mr. President. McMaster said that just last week. I didn't That's know why Russia invaded you. Oh, here we go. Now it's about... Her. OK, this is... Wants to be known as black. I want to ask a bigger Just a beat-up session on him.